credit card business momentum in July shows that the credit card issuance growth on a month-on-month -month basis is at six-month low. On the good side, there has been pickup in spends, but average ticket size in July is still uh, lower than what you saw in May. SDFC Bank continued to gain market share in spends as well as card issuances. So in last four months, SDFC Bank has been uh, more or less consistent in maintaining or improving its market share in spends. So the spend market share stood at 28.4% in July when compared to 27.2% in June 2022 for SDFC Bank. SBI continued to see decline in its spends market share for second month in a row. ICSI Bank on the other hand has been gaining market share over the last two months. So in July, the loss of market share in spends over the last four months was seen for SBI Cards, Citibank, American Express and Standard Charter Bank. While on the other hand, highest market share gain was seen for SDFC Bank, ICSI Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, as well as SBM Bank India. So at industry level, the credit card issuance growth on a month-on-month -month basis was the lowest that you saw in last six months. Spends have increased by about 6.5% month-on-month, but it has a base effect of a negative or a decline of 4.3% month-on-month that we saw in June. So spends per card increased by 4.5% month-on-month to about 14,478, but remains below the May average level of 14,800. 32. So decline in average spends is a cause of worry, but it can pick up in the coming months due to festive season. Top movers on a month-on-month -month basis in terms of issuance of cards have been uh, seen for, you know, DBS Bank, SBM Bank, AU Small Finance Bank, South Indian Bank and Federal Bank who have gained. While on the losing side, there were Indusin Bank, Bank of India, City Union Bank, DCB Bank and Canara Bank. So overall, what we saw is that SDFC Bank is gaining massively on market share in spends. The July spends have come down as holidays had ended. So with festive season coming up, spends can increase from current levels. Now, card issuance remains healthy, which is expected to continue.